On this video, I'm going to make a quick wrap up for 2025. What are the fun projects that I was looking at? Maybe some of those projects you can repeat yourself at home during the Christmas break. During this time off, you may want to actually revisit your security settings. Check if your NAS is safe, if your home network is safe. Maybe it needs some updates or upgrades. And once you have secured your setup, maybe you can spend some time having some fun installing some docker, some apps, maybe set up your surveillance station or maybe replace your Netflix. But let's have a look at the projects I did last year. Maybe one of those projects will get your attention. So what happened in the past year? Quite a lot of things happened. Obviously the main topic was Synology. Synology kept removing things and changing things. So if you missed those news, then you can have a look at the video where Synology removed their transcoding and video station. Synology have removed a lot of multimedia features that affect not only video station directly, but also their photos app, surveillance app, and simple file sharing. Now accessing multimedia from Synology NAS remotely is quite a challenging task. So people only keep Synology if they want to use it locally in their home environment, not for remote access. So you can see where the trend is going. Even though NAS is a server, which means it's supposed to do all of the tasks on the server, Snoji think that client devices should be doing the tasks that server normally do, like thumbnail generation. So in short, Snoji is not for multimedia lovers anymore. And I don't know what's gonna happen with Snoji in the long run. At the same time, Unify came up with their own NAS solutions. Unify is still exploring this NAS marketplace, but they will figure it out. So do have a look at those Unify videos if you are thinking about switching to Unify setup. In the past year, we also saw QNAP releasing some budget NAS models and very lately also some AI solutions. So maybe it wasn't that exciting year for QNAP. In the past year, I was visiting Raspberry Pi subject more often. This is a very energy efficient and budget friendly way to explore home DIY projects. So you can have a look how to build your own NAS using Raspberry Pi on this video. Or there was also a fun project if you wanted to turn your TV into touchscreen. That seemed to be a very popular video last year. With AI developing very fast, now these tools are used by hackers. So you saw last year very often we were talking about vulnerabilities and new security issues. We need to be more careful than ever regarding the security now. So do have a look at those vulnerability related videos. They might show you how to secure your home network. Otherwise, we were also looking at 10 gigabit series, how to upgrade your network to 10 gigabit, how to connect things directly to maximize the performance. So have a look at those 10X videos. I was also making NAS Top Gear series, showing you performance between those NAS brands. So if you're curious what NAS is the fastest out there, these videos will show you testing of every single angle, how the NAS can perform. We are looking at top USB speeds, top LAN speeds, top NVMe speeds, any possible bottleneck. So if you want to see those real world performance tests, do have a look. Also in the past year, we saw how governments are pushing Apple and other brands in the corner. They want them to share your data in a cloud. So this is one of those reasons why you should have your own NAS solution at home, because you can't trust the cloud because someone is watching you. Also, Wi-Fi 7 is becoming more and more of a standard now in Wi-Fi world. So there's a lot of products released. We were visiting those subjects as well. And now with AI growing so fast, we also looked at the ways how we can make our own local AI solution by installing GPU card in the NAS. All the questions and information that you type in those AI bots online, all that data is stored somewhere and someone is using it. We were also looking at the ways to recover data because with all security issues now, a lot of people are getting ransomware and they are losing their data. But there are always ways to get your data back. And probably you're gonna have a better chance to get your data back from your own physical disks rather than cloud. There were also a lot of KVM devices released. We were reviewing a couple of those devices. Those KVM devices can replace TeamViewer. You can have a full control of your computer. You can switch on the device remotely, you can use keyboard to control that device remotely or mouse to control it remotely. The possibilities are limitless. So do have a look at those KVM options. Also interesting topic about NVMEs, even though Snoji reversed their hard drive restriction policy, their NVMe policy still stayed. 
So we were looking at options how to get around that roadblock. We were also looking at new NAS brands like ZLab that are working on AI dedicated solutions. The other brand is Ugreen. With AI revolution, these devices that allow local language models and other AI models to be stored on your device will do very well soon. So if you've been considering to have your own AI agent, maybe these AI NASes are options for you. Also with Netflix subscription price going up, you may want to create your own Netflix alternative, which is Plex or maybe Jellyfin. You can achieve that with Raspberry Pi 5. You can have a look how on this video. If you own a NAS already, and if you want to upgrade it, you can have a look at this video. It's gonna show you every single possible way to upgrade your NAS. Either it's RAM, NVMe cache, SSDs, every possible way to make your NAS faster or perform better. If you have already image server and you wanted to link it with a photo frame, I was visiting that subject on build your own smart frame. I'll show you how to use Raspberry Pi 5 with a screen and how to install image frame on this device. So you don't need to get a third party frame without knowing where this data is stored and who has access to your photos. We were also looking at new NAS brands like Minis Forum. There's more and more NAS brands coming into the market now and not just NAS brands. Also the new NAS software brands like Unraid, TrueNAS, they are becoming so much better and easier to use. There's also quite a few NAS operating systems that can be installed on this hardware. So nowadays building a NAS becomes very, very easy. With the security being an issue lately, we were also looking at the ways how to securely connect to your NAS remotely. So I was showing you how to install Tailscale, which is free VPN service, which allows you to connect to your NAS remotely with zero effort. And all of that can be set up in seconds. So if you wanna know how, have a look at this video. And finally, we were looking at some Wi-Fi 7 routers and not just Wi-Fi 7, also how to install your VPN on your router. So you don't need to deal with every single device at home or work. You install VPN on your router and every device that connects to your router have this access. And with new Wi-Fi 7 routers, you can even achieve one gigabit speeds, speeds that you would normally get through the wire. And I think the most fun thing you can install is Docker. Docker will allow you to install thousands of apps on your device. So in this video, I was going through the most popular apps that you can install using Docker. So do check it out. Otherwise, you can always go to naskambez.com. You can find even more videos there, more articles. So you can use your holidays to create your own fun project. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for support on Patreon, Ko-Fi. This helps us to do what we do. So thank you very much for your support. Have a merry, merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time.